Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's part number 8 in my Zodiac series. And as normal, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I will leave my first part up here where I talk a little bit more about this, but I am going to do a look with this month Zodiac sign from the Zodiac palette from Colourpop. So, this month it is Leo. And in Swedish, that is Leonet. So this is a shimmer shade. And if you have seen my other videos with this, you know that the shimmers in this palette doesn't impress me that much. Um, this felt pretty good. So I really hope that I can do something with it. But I think I will use a glitter glue. And this month I am trying to do something uh, maybe a little bit more grungy. I don't know how that is going to go, but... Do you want me to swatch the shade maybe? Looks like this, I don't know how much you can see. But it is like... Orange gold. Little duochrome. So, I am going to... Do a look and I think I know what I want to do for this month. And I think I will use only three pals for this look so of course the zodiac then the venus 2 from lime crime and the infinity palette from Lind Hallberg. and i will start with the lime crime one and i will take mustard i have used this shade before and i really really love it so i'm going to take that in my crease and this is like the second time i'm doing makeup with my new hair and it is going to be so fun to see how things will look with this new hair. But... Yeah. Don't know what more to say. I don't play with this palette that much. I don't know why. Because I like it, but it's... It's like I don't know what to do. With some palettes I have that it's like only this is eight shade in this. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know if it's fun to do a palette bingo with them or not. Okay, so something like that. And then I want to take mud, this one. I think I've used this in my first impression with this palette as well. If I'm not mistaken. And I want to take it out of here. And now it feels like I don't have so many more options to do my... It's getting harder and harder to do this series. Because it feels like I have done everything. And the colors that are coming now. They are not the most fun colors. So, why did I start this series? I don't know. And yeah, I guess that you already know what I'm going to do. And I'm sorry if this is like a boring look. I think I will take... I'm thinking about taking something black out here, but I think I want to put the layer shade down first to see how it feels. If I want to have it black in my outer corner. I have to do a little bit more to be sure if I want to do that or not. But I am taking a glitter glue and then I'm taking Leo and I will put Leo in here. And I really hope that this is going to be okay. I'm going to be pretty concentrated for this because I always are when I'm doing this. But hey, I ain't want to poke my eye. So, okay, now I take the Leo shade. And I really hope that this will suit the mud shade. So it isn't like too... This isn't grunge at all. Of course it's not. I think this can be one of my favorite shimmers in this palette. Or maybe it is a little bit grungy. I think I need the black in my outer corner of this look. 
just to crush it up a little bit. Okay, I don't know how this is looking, but I like this shade, the Leo shade. I will just go in a little bit more with the mud shade, the brown one, to make it a little bit better here. Is this even a grungy look? No, it is not. But maybe I need like a lipstick <laughs> and eyebrows and everything. I think that will make it better. Okay, we put on Leo on the other eye as well and then I think I will go in with the black. Now when I have both eyes, I think I like this more than I thought I would. It's like I always succeed with one eye and not the other one. But I think we just have to... I have to live with it like this, I guess. And I think I want something black just out here, actually. So I go into the Infinity palette by Linda Holberg and take the black one, Fornax. This is one of my favorite black. If you didn't know it, I just love it. And this palette is so... This is like one of my most <laughs> used palettes and it's not that used. This one I use for my eyebrows every day, so it's... I hit pan. Soon I think I'm going to hit pan on this one and this one got a pretty big dent, but I love this palette. And I love this black. This is like... Okay, maybe this sounds strange. This is not pitch black. I don't like pitched black eyeshadows. Not like if they start out pitch black because then it's easier to fuck it up. So if you are a little bit afraid of black shadows, don't use like this super dark pitched black shadows because then it's like it's going to fuck it up. It's always better with the black that you build up. Okay, it's depends on what you're doing, but I think it's always better with the black that you build up that is not pitch black from the start, because if you got too much black, you are like screwed. Okay, and then I go in with the brown mud again to just to make it a little bit better. Okay, so I think I leave the lids like this. I'm just going in with the brush that I took Leo on. No additional color either here and just smudge here a little bit. Something like that. So I will take away the fallout, fix my, fix my base and my brows. And then I'll come back and we'll fix the under eyes together and complete this 8 look in my Zodiac series. And it feels so crazy that it's the 8th eight, eight look. I only have 4 more to go and it's like where the hell did this year go? But yeah, I fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back. Face is on and now I'm going to do under eyes and you can guess what you think I'm going to do for my under eyes. I'm going to do the same. Almost I think I will start with mud. Put it in my outer corner because I want to take the Leo shade down here as well. So maybe just mud and Leo. I will start with mud and see how this is evolving. Maybe just like that. I hope it won't look too strange. And then I want to take Leo and I'm going to spray it now when I have it on my eyes. Oh, yes. It feels like this Leo is better. It feels like the shimmer just keep getting better because I didn't think that 
Pisces and Aries was that good, but Gemini and Leo is pretty good, so it's a good thing, but I don't like when it's so inconsistency in the palette. Isn't even called that. I hope you get what I mean, but this this Leo shade I think I actually like this look pretty much, even though it's no like crazy colors or anything, but sometimes I just want to do something more normal, maybe this is not normal, but <laughs> something that is not blue or purple or green or red. So this is the finished eye look and I... I have to watch Look in Mirror. I like this. I like this so much. I think it goes so good with my new hair. Super happy about it. So I'm going to put something in my watch line. I think I have decided on what lipstick I want to take and it's not going to be that dark. So I will try that lipstick and see how it looks because lipstick choices not my strong side. So, mascara, something in my watch line, and a lipstick, and then I will be back. So, I'm back, and for my watch line, I used a pen from Colourpop. I always use these, and this is Get Paid. It was a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be, but I think it suits. And for my lips, I found the perfect lip, and this is Leo from Jeffree Star. So, Leo on my eyes and Leo on my lips. And I think this lip lipstick goes so good with this look. I am so pleased with this look and I don't really know why because it's... I don't know. I'm really happy with this, how this turned out. I don't know if it is because of the hair or if it is because this Leo shade from the Colourpop palette was amazing. Maybe that's why. So, I used the Leo shade of course. And then, do we usually sh show you the colors? I don't know. I used Mud and Mustard from Lime Crime Venus 2. And then I used a little of... This is hard. Fornax. This black one from the Infinity Palette by Linda Holberg. And yeah, I like this look. And now it feels like it's going to be... A lot of fun. I hope that you can really bear with me the next two months because it's, it's these two. But then we go into the purple train with two colors and then we are actually finished. So next month is going to be hard. And I think this October is going to be even harder. But this Leo shade, I really like it. I really like how this look turned out. And I really hope that you like this video. And I will leave my playlist with all of my other Zodiac palettes. Zodiac palettes? Zodiac videos. Up in the corner, I think, or down in the description. If you want to check them out. But yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. Bye!